Hello. Welcome to video four of our Freckle Juice Book Club. And um, we're going to talk about some more coding before we uh, read chapter four. So, um, all the movies I've been making and you've been watching so far have been to try to improve comprehension. And the question that I'm hoping we can answer together is how can we help kids better understand what they are reading, okay? So the idea is to get your child to think about their thinking while they're reading, and we call that metacognition. And the idea is to grab the thoughts that we're having. And we talked about different kinds of thoughts, making connections, questioning, visualizing, and inferring. And you've learned the different codes for those different kinds of thoughts. And tonight we're going to talk about determining what's important. That's a different kind of thinking. Okay, so when you're reading with your child, you want to ask yourselves, is that really important? Because sometimes the ideas are big ideas, and other times they aren't. They're just details. And I found teaching third grade that this is actually tricky for many third graders. There's lots of information they're taking in. What's the most important information? It's sort of like generalizing or coming to the main idea. What's the most important here? So I think they need some help with this at home. And this is one of the things that while you're reading Freckle Juice, one of the things for you to think and talk about together is what's important and what is a detail. The codes we're going to use are a star. If you read a sentence or paragraph that you feel this was important information, this is big, star it in your notebook and write your thought. The other important thing is three exclamation points for information that you found surprising. And usually, if it's surprising, it is important. It's not what you thought. Something happened that you didn't expect. And that's a moment in reading to stop and think, what, why didn't I expect that? Where did that come from? What's, make, make sure you understand it, because it's usually a change in your thinking, and you want to make sure you understand it. OK, so. You're going to go read chapter four now. This is a good chapter. We don't know what's going to happen to Andrew. He drank all that nasty freckle juice, and I can't wait to see what happens to him. So I'd like you to read chapter four, um, and then come back to the video, and I have a few questions for you to talk about together. So just pause the video here. Thanks. Okay, so you read chapter four. Here are the questions for you to talk about. How did Andrew's mom know that he didn't need to go to the hospital? What were the clues to, that she saw that told her Andrew did not need to go to the hospital? Okay, and then why did he stay home? And last, why didn't he want to go to school the next day? He still didn't want to go to school, so why was he wanting to stay home even after he felt better? All right, so thanks for joining. Bye.